Hello there and welcome to Linux Studio and this video guide is about diagrams. So how you can create diagrams on Linux? Well it is not easy because there are many applications available but either they are limited that means you have to buy a premium version of the application or they are just web related application so they work online only. But I'm gonna show you one application that is really cool and you will love it. But for that you have to have a Chromium based browser which means either you use Google Chrome, Chromium, Brave or Microsoft Ads. If you are using any of these browsers then you are good to go. It will not work on Firefox. I am sorry guys it's not available. So what you can do you just have to go to this URL. I will provide the URL in the description. So this is a Chrome application. Now it will not be available if you search directly into the chrome web store for example if i type the application name cliffy it will not pop up because for some reason google is blocking these applications and only allowing these application on chrome books that means you cannot use like before in your browser on other platforms unless you are using a chrome book but i have got your back and i have this secret url if you go to this url you will see the application so this is a pretty good application and you can simply add it it's free it works offline and it has all kind of a diagram supports for example if you want to create a flowchart you can create flowchart your uml ere network related diagram ui related diagram and many more and the best part about this application it works offline that means simply add it and you can use it just like any other application that you use in your Linux distribution and after creating your diagram you can simply export it into a PNG or a JPEG and then start using them in your documentations, presentations, web pages or where, wherever you like to use those diagrams. So how you can add it into the system by just clicking on this button click add app so it is an application not an extension. So after that you will see this location over here and you can also search for it in the applications menu isn't it cool so we are starting it for the first time so it needs some details for example your name and email address simply type in your name and email address and you are good to go so it gives you these little tutorial simply click on next step next step next step and it will show you how things are done it's very easy to use basically simply click on start drawing and you get this minimal interface so if you want to create a flowchart you have all these shapes related to a flowchart so for example let's start a flowchart let's do some conditions and uh, let's uh, close it and if you want to connect it simply use these connectors and connect your chart over here if you want to go somewhere else then you can even do this and you can simply create your flow chart so this is how easy it is to create a flow chart you can resize it and you can do all sort of stuff so after creating your flow chart you can simply export it into PNG or a JPEG format and not just the flowchart you can also create network related chart for example it has some images related to the network and for user interfaces it has these for example if you are creating a wireframe then you can use this tool as well so it has literally all the features that you will need to create any kind of diagram and it is available for free and it works offline isn't it cool so this is the diagram let me simply export this diagram really quick to show you how it looks like for example this is the diagram and uh, I can simply go here and click on PNG and it is going to export it into the PNG format and here you have it the diagram basically. Apart from this it can also synchronize the diagrams to your Google Drive. So this is the tool that you can use to create your diagrams without any hustle and it's pretty easy to get it up and running in your system. You just have to use the 
web browser so let me know about it in the comment section below hit the like subscribe to the channel if you are new and i shall catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux